I'm David Hamilton, fellow Hamilton's son. It gives me great pleasure to introduce fella being interviewed by her friend Lillian Frank, two fashion icons celebrating the anniversary of the company that fella started 45 years ago. How did you start that business? I happened to be in a sauna. I saw there a woman sitting there with a white towel and a white turban and she looked immaculate. So I asked her where she got this hat. I thought this is ideal for the sauna. And to my regret she said, I'm sorry, she said, I didn't buy it in Australia. I've just come from London and I bought it there. So I wanted to look glamorous in the sauna, you see. Yeah. She kindly gave it to me and then I thought, well, there must be lots of other women that would like this. I will make them and sell them. I did everything myself, I bought the fabric, I took it to be made, and eventually I sold quite a lot of them. Then I decided I'd go to Queensland. I thought, Queensland is a perfect place. And then I came back and I offered them to the, to the stores here. Hey, Myers and David Jones bought them. Yes, and, and Sports Girl. It was quite big then and they had all the dollies in the window and everyone had one of my hats on. I stood across the road looking at it and thinking, that's me. <laughs> it was very exciting. I went swimming every morning on the beach and there was nowhere to change and I thought it would be a good idea to have something of toweling that you can just put over your head with like a rope and then get into it. So that was the next step. I decided to make out of toweling one of those beach things. And then I started selling and as if you remember, the long toweling ones with the zips. Oh, yes. Very sexy looking yes. things. And I had my arms up to my thigh. Me too. <laughs> and I was so excited because I didn't, couldn't sew, I couldn't, couldn't do a thing, but I just loved being part of creating something. I was on a roll. I just, you couldn't stop me. I just loved every minute. It just, I think nobody had done all this in toweling. It was new yes. and people, obviously liked it. It was soft material, it was stretchy, yeah. it was absorbent. People wore them in, at the pools. I really always made what I liked myself. Yeah. And I have to tell you a funny story about that. Okay. Uh, when I started making pants, mm. I tried on everything. If it looked good on me, it went. If it didn't, it was out. All my pants were manufactured according to my length. And I got a message from David Jones and Myers <laughs> They're too short, you have to make the pants longer. And I learned I better think about other people, not just what I liked. I know most of your customers talk to you and tell you how wonderful you are and what you're doing and mm -hmm. encourage you. And how did you cope with other things? Well, we were very, very conscious of doing a good, the right fit. You had a very faithful staff. Yes, we certainly did. We, the first shop we opened, in Hawthorne in Riversdale Road and that manageress, this is 27 years ago, is still with us. They got, were just as enthusiastic as I was. I, when I used to come into a shop and dress the women, it was amazing how grateful they were. The staff were ve all very loyal, they still are, we treat them as family and um, they love their work. Are you happy with the direction that the company is moving now? I couldn't be happier Lillian. They're doing a wonderful job. They've grown since I've left. They're as passionate as I. They watched you. <laughs> They're just as passionate as I was. I see them working very, very hard. I had, I had all my children in it, yes. and now David and Sharon are running it. Yes. And my granddaughter is doing a fashion course. She's very talented. I think the secret was that we were very conscious of making clothes that were comfortable, that were good quality, Women found that they could come to us and buy things that fitted them well. Customer service was very important, the staff was trained and also we manufactured a lot of the uh, goods still in Australia and we made a lot of women very happy, I can yes, tell you that. I'm that is another thing, yeah, that is a wonderful thing to, to, if I go into a shop and anybody they said this is fellow Hamilton, they nearly kiss me. They, Everybody, they say, I've got a wardrobe full of your stuff. What, do I, what would I do without you? What changes you have seen over those days compared to now? Well, the biggest change I've seen is today. There's more leisure in fashion. In fact, 
just not just leisure wear, but all the big designers are making leisure to even go out at night. And are there any words of wisdom you can give to people who want to start their own fashion business? If you think you've got something that nobody else has got, or if you're passionate, you go right ahead and do it because you can't go wrong. I had no training, I couldn't even sew a button on, and here was I, in fact, when I was a little girl, my mother wanted to teach me to sew because she sewed, and she get, got me to make a belt. And then when I'd made it, she said, look, I'm sorry, she says, this is not straight. She said, you'll have to unpick it and do it again. So I threw it in the corner. I said, no, I'm not doing that. And she said, all right, dear, don't worry. If you can't do it, you'll find somebody to do it for you. And I thought, I wish my mother would have been alive to see me ending up in the rag trade. I enjoyed my life in fashion. It was very exciting and I, I feel very lucky that I just happened to fall into it. Well, fella, thank you very much for this wonderful time we've had today here. And we've told people what we are about. And we're still here and we still look good. Thank you, Lillian. It was a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed the inspirational video of Fella and Lillian, two famous fashion icons. I'm so proud to be celebrating 45 years of Fella's successful business, and I look forward to continuing her legacy for the, another 45 years with the next generation of my family. Thank you.